When I thought I was getting better, that's the time I almost died. I go to war, I fight for you. Even when I've left, I do right by you. I'll be your everything, your blue sky. Hey guys, welcome back to Nassan Rick Vlogs channel. Alright, if you're new to the channel guys, please remember to like, share and remember to subscribe. Turn on the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Alright, so in today's video guys, we have Rick mom here. She's out of the hospital, you know, so she's going to, you know, talk to you guys and, you know, she's going to tell you what she's been through and stuff like that. Alright, so yeah hello everyone first i must thank you all for praying for me yes i know you do a lot of prayers for me well i'm telling you i've been through it it's been a journey i'm telling you it's not nice being locked in an isolation ward you see no one you're by yourself in a room for like 14 days you're locked away you only get food and you can go to the bathroom and that's it and back to your bed and your medication and all of that the nurses are nice but the whole procedure is very 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 uncomfortable there were days when I was very hot. There were days when I when I needed ear and there was none. No ear. You understand? I was on oxygen. I was on oxygen for two weeks before I came off. Right. So it's a journey. A, a, a long journey. The medications. Those medications let you think all kind of things. Yes, <laughs> I had I had some experiences, boy. But thank me to God. And let me tell you, you have to pray. If you don't pray, don't come out of that place. I'm telling you, it's not nice. That's why they call it isolation. It's not nice. But thanks be to God. I am out and I'm happy to be with my family. I can breathe in fresh air. I long for sunlight. I long for breeze. I, I didn't know that those things were so vital. You wake in the morning and you don't have any fresh air. Remember, God make all of dust, all of that for us. You understand? And you have to use it wisely. Yes. So I was so happy when I'm out and feel the fresh breeze I was sweating which I wanted to I didn't want to go in any fun or anything because for two weeks I don't sweat just medication in my system medication 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 and I don't sweat so I was glad to sweat it's not nice but thanks be to God you know I'm out and i'm and i can be with my family yes all right so just a question for me you you actually felt like you know it, it was okay at yes. one point you thought um, that you recover yeah i thought that i recover and um one night i was in my room and i feel like i just cannot breathe it's like i have an asthma attack and it's like i feel like i cannot breathe I feel like this is it. And I said to them, somebody come and take me to the hospital. You know, I need to get some oxygen because I know if I didn't, I would die. And I when I went to the, the when I went to the um the, the the hospital. When I went to the hospital, man. Okay, so when I reached to the hospital, and I say that the nurses were really, you know, up and moving. 
because when they check, when they put on the oximeter on me and check, my oxygen level was way down past 80. 80, 80, um, it was like 82, 80, it was just dropping. And they said, no, they have to give me some oxygen. And that's where I started getting the oxygen. And I was on it for like two weeks. Then when I was supposed to come out now, there it is again, that oxygen level. Would that oxygen level rise? You rise up, you drop. You rise, you drop. But thanks be to God, they get it up to the level where they want it. Because if they never get it to that level, I would not come out. I would have to stay in there. Yes, so thanks be to God, they get it up to the level. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm grateful. I am alive. God have me here for a purpose. And that's it. That's it. I am happy. Very happy. I can see my family again. And I look and I see all those dead bodies passing. I have to shake my head. People I know, they have gone and leave me. You know, I have to give God thanks. Trust me, I have to give God thanks. Yes, man. So, I have to give the experience of what, you know, and let you all know what it is like. And as I say already, COVID is real. Please wear your mask. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it that this person don't have it and that person don't have it. The person you think maybe don't have it is the one that have it. And you are you are close to the person, are talking to the person, you know? So, always, when you are in crowd, you know, put on your mask. Or even if you see more than two persons, put on your mask. It is real, it is a killer. And the after effect is not nice because you feel weak, you feel tired, you know, and all of that. So you have to build yourself now. You have to go and get tonic and all of them something. If you go build up of yourself, you understand because you feel weak, you feel tired. That's why it let you feel. You understand? So, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of persons, you know, a lot of person reach out to us for me and you know, person that's been praying for you and said, you know, I hope that they've been checking because even after we put up the upload that video, there are persons still commenting and saying, you know, if you know how are you doing after we put up um the, the post saying that you're in the hospital and we're asking persons to pray for you, persons still reach out on that post and comment and asking how you're doing and stuff like that. So yes, guys I just wanna thank them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, and Nasan Rick vlogs also Nasan Rick. You know, we also want to say thanks to each and every one. You know, as you see, mommy here, live and living colors. We are yes. so happy that she's out, and prayers really work. I want to say thanks to all the persons who has been praying and you know, reaching out to us. Thank you guys so much. All right.